G'day ladies and gentlemen, Pipe here and welcome to an updated version of my how to install for not enough items. Now I know over the last probably a good month or so I've been getting a lot of people commenting on my previous video which is for like for Minecraft 1.1 or something so it's actually quite old uh, for not enough items and how you install and now the people have been you know trying to follow it and they're getting a black screen and it's not working. Well Okay, if that's going to be the problem, then simply the best thing I can really do is update the video, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing right here. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's just get on with it. And obviously the first thing you want to do is you want to come to the minecraftforum.net site, and obviously you'll find, you know, you've got to look for chicken bones mods. But again, I will provide a direct link for this very particular thread on the forum, so you won't have to actually go looking for it, it'll be in the description. But all you want to do is once you get to this point is you just want to simply scroll down a little bit and the first thing you will actually will go straight to not enough items which is right here and click on show for the spoiler and just scroll down a little bit you've got a lot of details on you can read through all these if you want to but i'm just going to bypass them for now just click on show uh, do show for the spoiler and it'll go through here so this is where you can download all the stuff from but this bit just here tells you is the instructions on how to install it and as it says here, you do need Minecraft. Well, you don't actually. It says here you don't have to have Minecraft Forge, but if you don't, you won't be able to see mobs in mob spawner items. So it's pretty much recommended to have it. But again, if you you know if you have mods that uh, don't really use for uh, yeah, if you don't use Forge, you don't have to have it. But anyway, download Minecraft Forge will be the first thing you want to do. And we'll quickly come up here to this tab. I do have my the uh, MinecraftForge.net slash forum site. Uh, so this is the this is where I'll actually link you to, but once you get to here, just simply click on releases. And once that opens, you'll have there, uh, just got Forge 6.5.0 for Minecraft 1.4.6. So that's the one you want to click on. When you click on that, <coughs> when it opens, this, this will be all the info you got here. And the one you want to look for is Universal. And it will have an ad fly and a direct link. You can click on either one of them if you want to support Lex with his um, with the uh, Forge. You can use the ad fly, otherwise you can just download direct. Uh, the source one is actually for mod makers for use who want to use Forge. And the Java doc, I've got absolutely no idea. You don't really care anyway, so just ignore it. But uh, so yeah, download that again. You do that. I'm not going to click on it because I, as you can see, probably up on the screen, I already have it. So I don't. Need, I'm not going to bother downloading. But you guys can do that. So once you've got that downloaded, now you want to go back to the th forum thread for the uh, for not enough items. And as it says now, the second thing you want to get is code chicken core jar, right? So what you want to do is you want to come back up a little bit to this one here. It says code chicken core. Click on the spoiler. And here it is. It says, it even tells you where it goes. We'll get to that in a bit. And it says that it's got the download button. It is an ad fly link, so just wait. You know, as soon as the page loads, uh, you know, you can just go you know, Click stop to stop the page, the browser from loading anything, and then wait five seconds. Then you'll have a uh, skip ad button. Click on that, and it'll download. Nice and simple, not hard. And then the final thing you want to do is now finally downloading not enough items. So all you got to do is you got here, and it's got download. Don't worry about the source; just ignore that. Just click on the download, and again, it's an ad flow link. Just wait the you know, pause the uh, browser, wait five seconds, and then. It'll download and as you can see I do have them both here and they are jar files so yeah they're not zips or anything and the only other thing it does also have here it just says it, it does have modules and you can download these these are for red power if you download these these just go into the mods folder as it says there I'm not going to do that here this is just a basically get not enough items up and running all right so now I've wasted a bit of time describing all that and I think I pretty much covered it so all you've got to do now is just minimize that if you want to Go down to start, and then in the search thing, you just type in percent app data percent, and hit enter. And as you can see, it opens up the roaming folder, and you should have, uh, well, if you don't, uh, if you don't really have a dot .minecraft file, uh, folder there, all you do, if you've got a Minecraft exe file on your desktop, just run that, and it'll uh, then generate it. But obviously, it's just for, you know, save you the time, I've already got it done. But once you've got the Minecraft on, uh, you've got the .minecraft folder, just open it, then go to bin, open that, and you should have minecraft.jar. Or if you actually don't have the file extension showing, you should, it will just say, dot, it will just say minecraft. Um, but yeah, you can put the file extensions on, I'm not going to worry about doing it now, but you can have that showing. 
But all you gotta do, open up the jar file and you'll end up with obviously this. And the thing that does go in the jar is the Minecraft Forge. So open up the Forge zip file and then just, I'm using 7-zip, but uh, you can use like WinRAR or, you know, you know, whatever, you, whatever uh, archive program you use, but again, I'm using 7-zip. And all you can do is just use, you can just do edit and then select all, select all the files, and then just drag and drop from the universal zip file into your Minecraft.jar, just like that. Boop, when this little pop-up comes, just to confirm the copy, just do yes. And then, of course, you can close the uh, you know, the, mic the Forge zip file. You don't need that open anymore. And before you close the Minecraft.jar, as always, delete meta inf. Gone. Mm -hmm. You would have actually probably noticed the Minecraft Forge had its own meta inf fo uh, folder there. Uh, but yeah, just drag them all across and then delete it once you've dragged it across. All right, so that's it. That's the micro You don't need the Minecraft jar anymore. Just close that down. And now go back to your .minecraft folder. Actually, no, sorry, just go back one more. I like to just go back to the roaming folder. And now load up your Minecraft. Again, enter in your details there if you need to. I've already, again, for argument's sake and for a bit of speeding up, I've already done it. And you should have all this happening. Now that uh, Forge is done, you'll get all these windows popping up. If you do, that's good, because that should be happening. And, of course, then you get your Mojang screen and voila. It says there, Minecraft Forge is installed, which is pretty sweet. It says there, three mods loaded, three mods active. And keep note of that number, because once we get these other ones installed, it should change to five. If it hasn't changed, then probably something went wrong. But anyway, now you can just quit out of Minecraft. You don't need that anymore. Open up your .minecraft folder. And if we come back to the, uh, the install instructions, it says here, the code chicken core and the N uh, jar and the NEI jar go into the core mods folder, okay? Which is this one right here. This is generated from Forge, I do believe, but that's fine. Just click on them and just drag and voila. They're in there and that's it. So now just go back to this particular section here. Now load this up and I'll make that a little bit bigger. Log in. Just let, uh, that's actually Forge Mod Loader doing that. And of course we get this really horrible big screen, but I'm not going to remember that, but ah, look at this. Five mods loaded, five mods active. Of course you can click on the mods tab there if you want to, or button. And as you can see, not enough items and code chicken core are there, as well as Forge. Just do done, single player, create new world. Just play around with that if you want to, doesn't really matter. And let's just load it up. And... Voila. Beautiful. We are in the game. And of course, as it says there, press E to open your inventory. Voila. There it is. Not enough items is installed. And again, if I just quickly hit F3, you can see it does say Minecraft for 1.4.6. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And that is how you install uh, not enough items. Uh, again, the last video I did have... Oh, that was a bit loud. <laughs> The last video I did have was a bit outdated, so and I've been getting a lot of people leaving comments saying that uh, you know, they're getting black screens. Well, yeah, because it was an old video and the install has slightly changed. That's probably why. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope it has been helpful to some people. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff for uh, more additional uh, videos and install instructions. If you do, the other thing I could also say too is if you do have any uh, mods, you do have any trouble installing, you know, leave plenty of comments and say you know. If you'd like some help, I'm more than happy to do the video to help you out. And because, you know, it might help other people as well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. So, as I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that cool stuff. And until next time, as always, keep cool, keep safe, and I'll catch you around. Goodbye. <laughs>